Hey guys, so I am at my pond right now and today I'm going to be doing some crappy fishing for y'all. We might get some bass mixed in, maybe a bluegill, maybe even a little chain pickerel. But um, for now, we're going for some crappy and slab crappy. Anyways, we will see y'all when we catch one. Alright, so what we're doing here is we've got our little spinning rod rigged up with some 15 pound braided line. I know I should be using fluorocarbon, but the fish in this pond really don't care, and I don't have any fluorocarbon, so we're going to let this be the line for today. We're running a little octopus hook right here, under a bobber about 18 inches, and then on the end of that hook, we're going to throw these little guys. The little shiners is a crappy's favorite lunch. We'll see y'all with a fish. Alright, the way I'm rigging these guys is the hook goes right above their backbone. That black line right there is their backbone. Therefore, you don't hurt the fish too much and he swims around freely. And watch how easy this is. After I get my crap cast out of the way, you throw it out there, you let it sit. Your minnow will swim around a good bit and a crappie's going to find him eventually. This is the spot where I feed my fish the shiner. Look, right there. And we got our first crappie, and it looks to be a white crappie. Or nope, black crappie. Here we go, right there. This is the easiest kind of fishing there is for probably the greatest tasting fish there is. He's real cold. You can see he doesn't have the coloration that you normally see in a springtime crappie. That is because it is about 40 degrees down here in Louisiana. That's a good fish. Get the release on him. This is odd. Oh. There we go. Got one. That's a small little black crappie. That's the black crappie. The difference between the white and black, you see the specks on this guy. Now he's got specks. I'm going to catch a white one and I'll show you all the difference. So just remember specks. Yeah, I got a crappie right here. There he goes. Got another one right here. This is normally what you're going to see with a winter crappie. This is a, a little bit bigger black crappie. Normally what you're going to see is crappy tend to get really red areas like where their fins connect to their body or their mouth. That's what you're going to start really seeing when it gets colder because that blood rushes there. This is actually a very warm fish, but another black crappy. Fish is really not wanting to move. I'm sorry about the audio, it's really windy out here, so if I do get wind noise, I'm sorry about that. Lost my mic in a lake that I'm going to be filming a video in very shortly. Um, smallest fish there was 5 pounds, so you're in for a treat. Got us another little crappie. This is a white crappie. See how he's got that hook out of him. See how they got the lines right here? That is a white crappie for you. It's a beautiful little white crappie, but not the slabs we're looking for. They're gonna start coming in a little later. This little fish is still alive too, so let's just throw him back out there. So we've got three crappie, or four actually. We Ooh, there was a bite. Got him. And it's a little baby. It's a little baby white crappie. He's about to come off the hook. Yep. Well, that's what a white crappie looks like for y'all. There he goes. He's swimming off slowly, doing the gangster swim. I don't think that was the first fish that bit this little shiner here. 
These little guys are some <sighs> slimy little critters. Let's see. Got that. There we go. Got some. Got a bigger white crappie here. There's a good white crappie. Let's see. See, I'd say he's about a 12 incher. That's a little more decent. That's what we're kind of looking for. Keep getting these shiners. This is very fun fishing if you haven't tried it. It's definitely. Him out there. See if we can't catch us one of them big slabs. There. Look at that. Look how fast that was. Another little whitey. I mean, look at that head. I mean, they're, they got some decent fish. That's another, you know, nine incher, twelve incher around that area. Oh, there's a little nibble. These crappy like to roll at your bait. They'll come at it and they'll spin around. Try and make that minnow paralyze and come back and smack it again. Unless it's a really big one, then they just kind of eat it. See, like this one right here, the small one. Took him a couple times to really get it. This is a small little white crappy. See if we can't get another one. Just got this nice black crappie right here. I'm gonna let her go. So I mean we've got a oh I've got something a little bigger than your average crappie. Oh it's a big bass. Alright, we're gonna land him over here. Cause he's a big boy. Come here. Come here, girl. Look at that. There's a bass. It's one of the smaller ones we catch out of here, but still. Barely hooked. Look at that beautiful fish, man. There's nothing that get, makes me get tired of bass fishing. That is what Louisiana fishing is all about. That's a gorgeous bass right there. All right, we're gonna get a release from her on the land so we don't hurt her by dropping her in the water. Look, right after that big bass, a slab crappy. Ooh, she is skinny. This poor fish. That's a really skinny crappy. Hopefully she starts gaining her shoulders back. I don't really know what's wrong with this fish. But yeah. I hope that little fish does a little better in the coming days. <laughs> See, I was another fish. All right, so the fish really have kind of slowed down biting. They aren't biting as well anymore. So we are gonna call it a day, but I think we've got some awesome fish and content in there. Anyways, um, not gonna do the face shot right now because I don't have my other camera. I just want to thank y'all for watching my video. Thank you for watching my video and 
say Happy New Year's. You know, going to be a good year in America. Anyways, I'll see y'all again. Bye.